In this video, I'm gonna show you how to install the strainer, the one that goes here, and the plumbing underneath. So I chose this strainer, which is easier to install. We're gonna remove this nut and the washer. We're gonna put it on the side, remove this part, and remove the gasket and the paper gasket. So we're gonna roll some plumber's potty. We're gonna install some around the basket. And you're gonna put it right here and then just push and now we're gonna go underneath so the first thing I did is I put up my rubber gasket and then my paper gasket the cup and then the nut with the red tool I'm holding the strainer and with my right hand I'm tightening the nut it has to be very tight so water doesn't come out of there now we're going to install the drain, the P-trap and the drain, but uh, this is being broken. So I'm gonna show you how you could use a dryer to apply heat so it softens and then you remove it or uh, you can cut it. We're gonna cut it this time and just cut it on the top, not at the bottom because the drainage happens at the bottom. So you're gonna sew it and just be careful when you go to the threads, stop. And then we're gonna use a hammer and a screwdriver. Just like that. And that's it. We're gonna clean the threads. We're gonna clean the threads. So we're gonna put paper towels on the floor. And now that we have, our, we cut a piece of pipe, we're gonna apply a primer. This primer is very important, it's by code. You're supposed to put it uh, in any PVC for plumbing. And now uh, we're gonna apply primer to the mill adapter. And then I'm applying glue PVC glue on both sides and then we're gonna put them together so they bond and now I'm gonna clean the excess make sure it's tight and now I'm gonna apply Teflon paste and now we're gonna thread our male adapter into the female adapter so um, once now make sure you don't misthread misthread it so go back and forth until you feel that it goes easily inside if you start turning it and it doesn't go then go back and then until it feels right and then with channel locks we're gonna get it very tight Now let's work on the P-trap. The first thing we're gonna install is gonna be the tailpiece. Now notice this is a flat washer that goes into the flat piece of the tailpiece. We're gonna use the metal nut that came with the strainer, not the PVC. So now let's get it tight. Just do it with the hand right now. And uh, now we're gonna put a, a, a nut and then a washer. 
this doesn't have a flat top like the other one and then we're gonna put a, our dishwasher adapter that's an extension tailpiece with a dishwasher adapter because we have a dishwasher and now we have our pit trap now let's install first the arm and this one I previously cut it a little bit because it was too long so now we're gonna put a the arm then a washer the red washer and then the knot uh, and then the, if you notice it has double knot one for the male adapter and another one for the p-trap right there so two knots so just can tie them for now align them so uh, it looks good it makes sense and then once you get them then you're gonna get them very tight uh, just all your, your strength if you're not too strong then you can grab the channel locks and then just after you tighten them by hand you can go half a turn just make sure all the knots are tight and go you know with your whole strength I'm gonna plug uh, this part of the dishwasher because we don't have a dishwasher yet so it's just to plug it we're gonna test it and so the water doesn't come comes out of there and now we're gonna turn the water back on and now we're gonna test let's turn the faucet on hot is gonna be on the back and then on the front is gonna be the cold water. Now we're gonna uh, collect some water and then make sure there's no water leaks. That's it.